Hey, how are you? So the other day I did a video on gate analysis. A customer actually uh, sent in some um, video of their gate, and then they also sent in a video of their shoes. And they were trying to figure out what was causing some, some injuries. They actually happened to have a stress fracture. So when you put those two things together, you have a lot of powerful information. Um, but I didn't want to do it in two in uh, one video because it was too much to cover. So today I want to just look at wear pattern. And you have to bear with me a little bit because some of these images aren't going to fit in the screen. So I have to move some stuff around. But first and foremost, this is, um, I have, looks like four different images this person sent me. And probably the best takeaway from this is when you see something like this, please throw those shoes in the trash. Apologies to the person who sent me this photo, but um, this part, this part right here, this like red part, that's called your outsole. This uh, lower part, the white area, that's called your midsole. Whenever you wear through the outsole into the midsole, your shoes are trashed. Now look at how, look at, I, I've actually, I hate to say this, I've never seen shoes worn this bad, but look at how much wear is on these um, outside of both shoes, more so on this on this foot. So this person tends to strike like really strong in this area on, uh, this happens to be their right foot, right? Because the shoes are flipped upside down versus on this left foot, they're a little bit more on their midfoot. And interesting enough, this person actually fractured right on the top part, but right in this area of the foot. Um, and, and that, looks to be because they had really rigid mechanics on this foot. So they're really kind of landing more up here. They're really not getting a lot of pronation going, putting a lot of impact here. So they're essentially absorbing a lot of uh, impact on this, really on this part of their foot. But let's jump around to uh, images here. And again, I'm going to have to kind of move around a little bit, see if this one is actually, um, all right, this one I'm going to probably struggle. Nope, I can scroll right there. So the other thing that you want to look at, and this one isn't necessarily the best example, you look first to see wear um, on the heel. And this is really common in this outside heel. Um, hopefully you can see that. I don't know if I have to move that. All right, I'm having some trouble with that. Um, but this outside heel is generally where most people are going to wear their shoes. This person, you can actually see some original tread kind of still on the shoe. So they're really not landing on that heel a whole lot. But just looking at the design of a shoe, you see this cut right here, this little groove, and this on one foot, and then it goes the other direction on the other. The reason for that is when you land on this part of your heel, you want to, that brake tries to kind of prevent some of that force going through. It's almost like a crunch zone, or if you will, like on cars, I'm not sure if cars still have that design, but basically if a car is going to have like a front end collision, there's little zones to kind of um, prevent that force from, from being transmitted. Um, let's take a look at another pair of shoes. Here's a good example here. They haven't worn through this outsole, um, but see how smooth this is? Um, and then see over here, this original tread. So they're actually putting a lot of pressure here and they're really not using this much part of the shoe a whole lot. I can't see what type of shoe this is. I can't see the inside. Um, I'd have to see the side of this to see if how much support it has or doesn't have. But this right here tells me two things. It tells me one, they're landing on this part of their foot, but likely there's a little too much support, which is not allowing them to wear over on this part. And the same thing over on this other, um, other foot. Um, and that's where, like I said, that's why wear pattern tells a whole lot because say you have, uh, you know, depending on your mechanics, a shoe is going to compensate for that. So this shoe looks like it might be compensating a little bit. You do have to be careful saying that at the same token because they are landing more up here. So they're not going to have as much opportunity to kind of roll into this part of the foot. Uh, but ideally, this part should be pretty evenly worn, whereas you see a lot more wear here and a lot less wear there. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you, well, actually, this is an example of just a lot of a lot of wear in this area. Um, but all their shoes are looking fairly comparable in the sense that they're not really landing on the heel a whole lot. I'd say more midfoot um, for the most part. Um, but this is the image that I wanted to show you and see if I can't get this moved over. Um, yeah, this is a good one. See how this shoe is designed where it's got like a kind of a carved out area. It's kind of a somewhat common design on some shoes. If you land on this part, you actually, you're going to start to kind of crunch. This might be hard to explain. You're going to crunch this part. You can actually start to put a little bit more pressure on the outside of your foot right in this area. And it's the same thing 
on the other foot, it has this area. So it's almost like a, like a bridge, if you will. In some sense, it, what that does, it gives the shoe a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more bend, um, but you also are more exposed in this area. So um, hopefully I didn't cause too much confusion. If I did, post some questions below, and I'm, as always, I'm more than happy to answer. But definitely um, shoe wear pattern is really, really critical. And then one caveat just to add to that is with shoe wear patterns, it has to be your running shoes. It can't be shoes that you run in and then you wear for other things. That's going to change the, the, the wear pattern a bit. Um, so with that said, as always, it's a pleasure talking to you. Have a great rest of your day, and uh, hopefully I uh, taught you something today. So enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, everybody.